Kangaroo Court up on our left. Kangaroo Court! Kangaroo Court! You guys going to Kangaroo Court? A train? No way, man! Oh, I had to come this way. Oh, that's fantastic. Guess what we got for this occasion? Smoke a treat. I have no further questions for this witness, Your Honor. Cross-examine, please. Sheriff Sam Shipley. Yes. Sheriff Sam I Am. Sam I Am. Do you like green eggs and ham? Do you like green eggs and ham? Your Honor. Mr. Wilsma. What, John? He does not like them, Sam I Am. Did you lie while on that stand? No. I would not, could not. Did you lie before this court? No. Mm, I would not, could not. Did you lie in your report? No. Not here or there, not anywhere. Let me pause trial right there and show you this dude arresting me. He's sheriff. Don't, don't, man. Your face. Hold on. Let me get that name. Let me get that name. Let me, let me get that name, Chomo. Chomo is prison talk for child molester. Man, I think about. Let me get that name, Chomo. Hey Sam, why are you gonna cover up your name when I say, let me get that name, Chomo? Man, I think about, let me get that name, Chomo. Oh, right there, accidental admission. All right, now that you know that we're dealing with a lying Chomo sheriff, let's break this dude down on the stand. Your Honor, defense would like to call Exhibit 21. This is Sheriff Sam Can't Spell Shipley's Affidavit of Probable Cause. This dude literally doesn't manage to write a single full sentence, even going so far as to misspell the lead charge. could imagine, Counselor Kanguru had a field day with this. So we professor corrected his grammatical errors and had him read from the corrected copy on the stand. Sheriff, would you go ahead and read that first highlighted line for us, please? The director of security, Mark Mason, were advised that Wilma had to leave and then he was trespassing. Did the words trespassing come out of anybody's mouth that entire time? I believe I heard it. You believe you heard it? Mm-hmm. So that would be a yes? Yes. So that's an accurate statement? Yes. To my recollection, yes. Defense would like to call the video we just watched. What are you asking to do? I'm not following. I'm going to show that Sheriff's written affidavit of probable cause contains a lie. <laughs> I would not, could not. Did he lie before this court? Did he lie in his report? And he lied while on the stand. Sheriff Sam's a lying man. <laughs> the full raw video of my arrest is still up on the channel. I don't consent. I don't consent. If you watch this thing, clearly nobody ever says trespassing. In fact, you'll hear that they arrest me for recording in the foyer. I'm gonna ask you to leave because you're not following the court procedures that are in place, mm -hmm. including the requirement for approval mm -hmm. to come in and record. Which is legally protected under the First Amendment. He's citing the rule for the courtroom and why instead of charges of trespassing, he is trespassing. Or filming in public, come in and I'm in this kangaroo court facing the lead charge of disorderly conduct. Again, I understand what you're doing, and that's fine, but we're not watching the video again. What follows is pages of back and forth banter between me and the fair and impartial judge about him not allowing me to show the whole video. Alright, I'll allow you to replay that portion of the video that's at issue here. And Sheriff Sam can't spell Shipley won't admit that nobody has said trespassing before what I'm allowed to show. So before this 16 minutes, do you agree that nobody has said the word trespassing? Can't answer the question. Well, then your honor, we're gonna have to watch the entire video again. We are not going to do that. Your honor, this is, this is impeaching the witness. We're not going to do that. I would not like them anywhere. Did y'all just see this fair and impartial judge refuse to allow me to present evidence to the record? We are not going to do that. Then refuse to let me impeach the witness about being trespassed with his own testimony? We're not going to do that. That's because he was the sole arresting officer. If I impeach Lion Sam on the stand, I get his testimony thrown out. And along with it, the entire case. We're not going to do that. Not here or there, not anywhere. And 
the whole point of this kangaroo court is so that the state can find me guilty of something so that I can't countersue for false arrest. A false arrest to subvert my coverage of the next Pennsylvania pedo scandal. Here's my thumbnail for that quick fun investigation video on my channel. Aren't you also somewhat famous for having a gay panic murder defense? I'm Think I'm lying? Eleven judges recused themselves for this simple case of disorderly conduct. I've come to the conclusion that I should recuse from this. Haha, <laughs> that was a clip from the full video of me recusing judge number 11 in court. And here's the hilarious video where I set it all up. <laughs> Order of the court, this judge is recusing himself. So, coming in the trial, I already knew that the state was going to force a conviction. We're not going to do that! Which is the definition of a kangaroo court. That's why I didn't disqualify Judge Lewis. We're not going to do that. Things are so bad, we need you to help us. <laughs> That's Pennsylvania Chief Supreme Court Justice Max Baer. Who personally screws up the assignment of Fixer Judge number 12. We need you to help us. By only assigning him to my case for one day, months before trial. <laughs> Things are so bad. <laughs> leaving the presiding judge with no valid jurisdiction. This case, you have no jurisdiction, she has no jurisdiction. Defense motions to crown himself king of these here kangaroo courts. Does anyone with any jurisdiction object? Sir, your motion is denied. Check out that video where I actually beat these charges in court. As king of these kangaroo courts, sir, I declare that it's time for a song and dance number. We're gonna take a recess. Goose? I think she's lost that love and feeling. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. But the state found me guilty anyway, even without any jurisdiction. Court can be a scary place. So right now, it's wrapped up in appeals. The state is going to suppress this until it breaks in the public sphere. All we're trying to do is close the door. So help me get this story out there. All of you guys up there know exactly who I am. I'm massively shadow banned. They all know who I am because these guys all work together to hide my triple attempted murder and stabbing by one of your local cronies. I need y'all to hit up independent news sources with me telling them I'm legit. If I sound like a foil-hatted veteran, because I got one on, because I am Gettysburg's foil-hatted veteran. Until then, we're gonna keep following this case with the appeals process. <laughs> then segue into suing Judge Lewis for the cost of the appeal. We're not going to do that. And don't worry, we got a gang load more of these hilarious court exchanges on the way. Withdrawing count one, institutional vandalism? Correct. Withdrawing count two? To find a trespass? Correct. And what we are left with is a charge of disorderly conduct as a summary? Correct, Your Honor. Okay. Is that your understanding? Let the record reflect that that's the smell of fear. <sighs> the record only reflects what you said. That was my point, Your Honor. It speaks for itself. That's gonna be one of the things in the docuseries. That's pretty funny. But what's even funnier is how far that one flew over Senior Judge Lewis's head. <laughs> The record only reflects what you said. The smell of fear is not going to show up in the record unless I let it reflect it. That was my point, Your Honor. It speaks for itself. <laughs> he still doesn't get it. That's going to be one of the things in the docuseries. That's pretty funny.